The Evolution of Japanese Uniforms poster is available now. In its dying years, the ailing Tokugawa shogunate attempted to reform and modernize its military force. Shogun Tokugawa Yoshinobu introduced new European-style uniforms modeled after those of Britain and France, but these retained Japanese influences such as the traditional Jingasa war hats. Soldiers were equipped with more modern firearms, but infantrymen continued to carry swords alongside them. Traditional samurai armor, however, was extremely rare. However, this reform was too little too late for the shogunate. Emperor Meiji and his allies in the Satsuma and Shoshu domains successfully seized power from the shogun in a brief conflict, finally restoring the supremacy of the emperor. Their forces were highly modernized with Western-style uniforms. Soldiers of the Satsuma domain were distinguished by their peculiar conical headgear, while those of the Shoshu domain wore shorter helmets. Before we continue, I'd like to highlight today's sponsor. For thousands of years, titles have been the cherished status symbols of the old nobility, often requiring extensive family records to prove a claim. But thanks to established titles, you now have a chance to call yourself a lord or lady and officially print your new title on everything from your credit card to your dating profile. How it works is very simple. Established titles lets you buy as little as one square foot of dedicated land in Ardali, Aberdeenshire, Scotland, and then sends you an official certificate and crest that proves your title. Also on offer is the Lordship or Ladyship and Kingdom of Scotland bundle, featuring an authentic reproduction of a 1611 map of Scotland created by famous cartographer John Speed. As a bonus, established titles works with global charity One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future to plant a tree with every order to help preserve the beautiful ancient woodlands of Scotland. Furthermore, Established Titles is now having their holiday sale, and viewers of our channel can use our discount code ARMCHAIRHISTORIAN to get an additional 10% on top of their holiday sale. Go to EstablishedTitles.com slash ARMCHAIRHISTORIAN to get 10% off of your Lordship titles. The Imperial Guard was the foundation of the new Imperial Japanese Army, first seeing action against disaffected samurai in the Satsuma Rebellion. These soldiers wore the first standardized national uniform, a mixture of blue and red, with their uniforms cut in English and French style. Although ranks were still worn on the cuffs, the addition of trouser stripes helped with immediate identification. The full dress uniform was introduced in 1873, with nine gold buttons and a single gold stripe. Ranks were displayed on the cuffs, collar, shoulder straps, and the indent of the hat. Many officers had begun carrying European-style sabers rather than traditional Japanese blades. At this time, the army did not differentiate between dress uniforms, formal uniforms, and service uniforms, merely adding or removing decoration depending on the occasion. The Japanese military adopted a modified dark blue single-breasted uniform in 1886. This uniform was standard by the time the First Sino-Japanese War broke out in 1895 when Japan stamped its authority over East Asia, wrestling regional authority away from China and seizing control of Taiwan and Korea. This uniform was retained with only minor modifications until 1905. By the time of the Boxer Rebellion, when Japan joined its European peers to defeat a Chinese anti-imperialist uprising, Japanese soldiers had adopted the tradition of wearing Senin Bari, or the 1000 stitch, over their uniforms. This was a red sash belt believed to confer good luck, courage, and immunity from wounds upon the wearer, given by Japanese women to soldiers going away to war. Officers, meanwhile, wore a longer, double-breasted version of the typical tunic. They wore a gold stripe to indicate rank, with an additional red stripe to demonstrate higher status, such as for field or company officers. 
The Russo-Japanese War saw an Asian nation win victory over a European power for the first time. It also saw the Imperial Japanese Army adopt a brand new khaki version of the 1886 uniform, with the Japanese quickly understanding the utility of khaki over blue. It was designated in either cotton or serge for hot and cold weather, respectively. Japan played a small role in the First World War, capturing German possessions in the Pacific to assist its ally, Britain. Japanese soldiers wore the new Type 45 uniform in yellow-brown, featuring a flat-topped peaked cap and tunic collars with red, swallow-tailed gorget patches. 1918 brought in a change of measurements, not just in uniform sizes, but also in the scale of Japanese imperial ambitions. As the First World War ended, Japanese forces intervened in Siberia to secure its position in East Asia in an ultimately fruitless attempt to see off the threat of communism as the Russian Civil War unfolded. The Japanese soldiers who began their nation's imperialist expansion into China wore the M90 uniform. Introduced in 1930, these were predominantly made of wool with mustard-colored tunics and trousers and olive drab caps, all worn with hobnail marching boots made from cowhide or pigskin. As the Second World War erupted, the Imperial Japanese Army's new standard uniform was the M98, which was largely identical to the M90 that came before it. There were key differences, however. The M98 was made of cotton instead of wool and was colored olive or khaki. It featured a turned-down collar upon which rank badges were carried, replacing the shoulder rank badges of the M90. The Taishin Shudan paratroopers were the first during the Battle of Palembang on Sumatra. Well organized and well equipped, these troops wore uniforms reminiscent of German Luftwaffe paratroopers with padded leather helmets and extra ammunition in addition to standard infantry equipment. Japanese air power was crucial to the war effort against the United States. As an integral part of the Imperial Japanese Army, pilots wore the standard army uniform. Only flying personnel and ground crews wore sky blue trim and stripes. The Imperial Guard was based in Japan throughout the war. On the field, they were distinguished by a wreathed star in bronze worn on the headgear, in contrast to the plain star worn by other units. The Guard was involved in a number of notorious war crimes during the conflict, as well as the attempted military coup d'etat that sought to prevent the Emperor's surrender in August 1945. As the war progressed, the Japanese military was beset by supply problems. Many soldiers continued to wear the older M90 uniforms, as too few M98 uniforms were produced to fully equip the army. The M98s they did have were produced with cheaper materials than before. Their firearms, too, were increasingly produced crudely at so-called last-ditch or substitute standards to cut costs and speed up production times. Officers' uniforms were privately purchased and tailored to each individual, so there was some variance from one officer to another. Unlike ordinary ranks, officers were known to wear riding breeches with a full cut rather than trousers, and had double-breasted overcoats with their rank displayed clearly on the collar. In 1945, these would be the last stand officers of the Imperial Japanese Army. That August, Japan surrendered to the Allies, and thereafter the Japanese military was abolished. In 1950, large portions of the U.S. occupying forces were transferred to Korea, leaving Japan only lightly defended. The decision was then taken to establish a de facto military force under American supervision, the National Police Reserve with khaki uniforms borrowed from the U.S. Army, a short jacket, a shirt, and a tie. In 1954, this nascent defense force was reorganized into the Japan Self-Defense Forces, but began with its uniforms remaining as hand-me-downs from the U.S. military. 
1965, the modern Japan Self-Defense Force finally introduced its first camouflage pattern, called Type 1 Kunai Camouflage. The design featured black, brown, and green woodland shapes on a pale green background, and was initially issued to members of the 1st Airborne Brigade. It saw widespread use in the 1980s and lasted until 1991. Japan was a key ally of the United States during the Cold War, representing one of its most important military relationships in that period. In the 1970s, a new dress uniform was introduced. Brown, single-breasted, four-button suits with cherry blossom insignia on the cap badge. These remained in use until the 1990s. Based on the German Army's Flecktarn, Japan's 2nd camouflage pattern features black, brown, and green dots on a khaki background. It has been referred to as GA Tai, after the Japanese name for the self-defense forces. Japan's first foreign military deployment since the end of the Second World War was not without controversy. However, these forces were deployed to Iraq for strictly humanitarian and reconstruction work, and were forbidden from entering active combat zones. Japan's Special Operations Group, based primarily off the U.S. Army's own Special Forces Groups, was tasked as the security detail for the Relief Deployment's commander. 2018 witnessed another milestone, the first Marine force since the Second World War. This new amphibious warfare unit has been equipped with the new Type 16 uniform, a redesigned service dress. Today, the Japanese self-defense forces are a well-organized modern military force, but its future is uncertain. A fierce debate rages about its role in the world, with some now envisioning Japanese uniforms being seen on security and peacekeeping operations all over the globe.